right, this is Pedestrian Wanderlust. We're here with Chris Makins at Chelsea Piers. Chris, how you doing? Good, man, thanks. Good, all right, so we just did an improv. Chris, how was that? Can you talk a little bit about it? Yeah, it was really fun. Um, I've been coming to this place for about a year and a half a lot, and I just always wanted to make like art dance video here. Um, it's a beautiful day. It's kind of windy, I'm a little tired, but I did my best, and um, it's just really fun to like, play around like a kid and um, just notice my like mental patterns and work through them and have fun, keep going and just be myself. Yeah, absolutely. Play this, around. Is the, this is the second video you did with Destry Wanderlust, right? Yes, yeah. How was it different from the first one? Um, I guess it was similar. It's like a good workout. It's a good challenge to like keep up, keep it fresh and keep it moving. Um, it was a different location, so that was cool. Got to wear shoes and just like all the different terrains here. I kind of liked the location for that. Um, that it would like keep changing and to try to match my movement to my surroundings. Yeah, it was cool. Nice. They were both fun. Nice. With, um, was there any difference in terms of an intention you had for the improv or how you generate the movement this time as opposed to last time? Um, yeah, this time I was just trying to like just play and be myself and um, just kind of let it happen um, and I think last time I was really like exploring it was in the park Central Park um, my interaction with that more and this time I was trying to stay in contact with my surrounding and keep it changing through the different pathways here but just to kind of be more like a kid and let myself fall and get back up and keep working through it and have fun yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel when you're dancing? Um, I feel free and really present in the moment. Um, it makes me feel more grounded. It shows me where I'm maybe not as grounded. Um, it brings me a lot of joy and uh, it's like I have to. It kind of shows me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I've got uh, just one more question for you. So if, um, well, first of all, do you believe that there's a dancer inside of everyone? Yes, I think so. I think it's very like tribal and um, grounded and like community connecting. Mm -hmm. So um, if, if there was someone who told you that they couldn't dance, what advice would you give to them? What would you say to that person? Well, whenever people say that to me, I always kind of encourage them to dance and be themselves. I think. Uh, like everyone can dance, it's just authentic movement and just believing in ourselves and expressing energy that way. Um, I just think we're taught dance is like certain things, but I don't think that's true. I think everyone has the innate ability to move and share who they are as a being and spirit and a heart person. Absolutely. All right, thank you so much, Chris. Cool. Uh, stay tuned for his video coming out in January. All right, yeah, take care, Chris. Thanks. Thank you.